Guys, I'm not going to be funny, right? The reason I left at half time yesterday at Easter Road, I'm not going to be funny, right? It did kick off a bit at half time at Easter Road, the booze ringing around. I did want to kind of just add that in because I deleted the video where I was walking out Easter Road uh, yesterday after 3 0 down at half time. That's that many games in a row. Now, Uti. My whole time being a Hibs fan, I have never walked out at half time. Never. It's the first time I've done that. That's saying something. Now, I usually, I'm passionate about my club, and um, I'm very, very passionate about my club. I was sitting in the stadium as soon as that second goal went, and I was just like that. Sad. Heartbroken. Because there was just a... There's no really any other ways to describe it. Going 3 0 down at half time, yes, it is embarrassing. I will agree with that. Um I I don't know what's happened. Um there's a lot of people saying the manager's a bit out of depth depth. Um and basically out in no circumstances you can't always blame the manager. Bearing in mind we do have Martin Boyle Rocky Bashiri, Lewis Miller away playing in the Asian Cup. 
only will have Lewis Miller and Martin Boyle returning at some point. Not to mention, you can't go Slayton and the squad because we're weak. We are weak at the minute. We are weak at the minute. And here's what my cousin Alan had to say about that, about what the fans were saying as well. And I agree with my cousin Alan because he's got a point. And this is what he had to say, roll it. So there you can say it. And like my dad says, right? Like my dad says as well, and I will agree on this, right? I actually think Joe Neal done all right yesterday. Jair Tavares, yes, he did feel isolated at times. Um, Rory Whitaker, for what my dad was saying, yeah, he can't really play a centre back position. I agree, kindly on that. Every player does have a bad performance. Rory Whitaker actually he was in a position he didn't really feel comfortable playing in, uh, and he wasn't probably really ready for that in a way. Um, but in my half time circumstances it was a bit horrible seeing how quick the stadium emptied but luckily I didn't really buy a ticket yesterday I was using um, my brother Riley's um, season ticket completely silent completely fucking silent walking up Easter Road I was just like what is happening to my Football team Hibernian, what is going on? What is really happening? And the booze ringing around Easter Road, I've not heard that since 2012 when Pat Fenlon was manager, as I've already mentioned, and a lot of other Hibs fans have mentioned that. I do agree, it has been a while, and even my dad says that it's been a while since he's heard booze ring around all three stands of full of Hibs fans. Not really full because the crowds have kind of went a bit low, and that's a bit worrying as well. Hibs fans, it's upsetting. It really is. Um, but I'm trying to hold the tears back because, you know, it, it is. It's sad. Um, now, obviously, I understand Hibs fans' comments. I was reading them. I feel bad on our fans. I do. Can't keep sacking managers. We've had four managers out the fucking door. Paul Hakenbottom. Jack Ross. Sean Maloney, Lee Johnson. We can't keep going on. How do we get out of this mess? How do we get back to normal? Winning and creating an atmosphere at Easter Road again where nobody get that. Dumb worried Hibs fans and I'm trying to keep the emotions and all that holding back like yesterday I went out of the stadium because I was just upset. I didn't even know what was going on. Hearing the booze going around Easter Road got me worried. I was like, is this going to be a repeat of 2012 where we were in a relegation battle fighting relegation? Is it going to come to that? Is it going to go to that? I hope not. I don't know what we can what can happen to achieve Hibs anymore. We've brought in seven new sign-ins. Nothing much has happened, but like I say, it takes time to bed the new players in. Like It takes time for them to get used to it and just find their strengths in that. We've got Celtic coming up and I don't even feel confident about that. Even although Brendan Rodgers hasn't won a game at Easter Road as Celtic manager is a bit embarrassing, but I think with the way Hibs are playing at the moment, I can see Brendan Rodgers getting what he's been waiting for. I just don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know what this means for the rest of the season for Hibs. You've got Celtic midweek on Wednesday. You've got Inverness away. And I don't even think we're going to get anything out of these games coming up. I don't even think we'll get anything out of the Edinburgh Derby or Dundee. We're just... I think we're really, really going to struggle. Apart from that, guys. It has been me, your host, Jaxie99. And bye-bye.